Creative Katie here, and it's time for another Inspiration Prompt Stick Challenge. Try it Tuesday number three. So the first thing in this is use gelatos. Now, I don't own gelatos. I own Faber-Castell cheaper product that are called gel sticks. You can get a box of 10, very basic colors, and then I've got the metallics as well. This is one of the things in my stash that do not get used, so I'm a little hesitant to do this challenge, but I'm excited so, because maybe I will fall in love with them like so many people. If you don't have those, please use any kind of watercolor medium that you have. Use music paper. So I have some sheets that I've gotten from our thrift store, a book for 50 cents but you can download this from the internet, free music sheets, or stamp it using if you have a music stamp. Use border stamps, so I pulled all my border stamps. I've got these from Bow Bunny that are stitching. This is another product that I thought I absolutely needed, but I don't find I use. Delusion stamps, I love the heart dangles one, but other than that one, I don't know that I've used, the others have even seen ink. A dollar from a dollar bin from the Michael store. Now, if you don't have a border stamp, you can make your own punch or cut out and go along that way, or use a single stamp and just repeat going around the border. Use a magazine quote or a picture. So I have this girl with an umbrella, and I am going to use this stamp set which is brand new I bought at our dollar store it cost a buck fifty and interestingly enough it has a little raindrop that I may use and it has a border stamp of umbrellas so I may use that as well it also has the saying dancing in the rain which is going to take off the theme Use a stamp through a stencil. Now, this I'm not sure about. I, it strikes me that you have to use a stencil that has large open space and then stamping through it with a background stamp. Um, not sure what to expect with that one, but um, I'm going to give it some try and we'll see what we get. If it works, it, it, great. If it doesn't, Great. As you can see, I've I've re I've gessoed over a page here, so I'm going to use that. And I here are the colors that I'm going to select. Now that's a mixture of the metallic ones and the straight colors, blue greens, because it's going to be a rainy cloud. So I start off ripping the paper the edges off the music sheet, and then I decide I'm going to put hearts. I, I don't know if that has to do with Valentine's coming up, my head's there, but just something a little different than just regular collaging of the music sheets, which I've done before. So I'm applying gel medium, matte gel medium. I believe this is the Liquitex brand, and I'm applying it under and over the hearts. And I'm kind of putting the hearts all the way around I plan to put the the girl with the umbrella in the middle, so that's why I'm leaving that out. And I kind of want her to stand on the bottom heart, so it's kind of like she is dancing in the rain. And she just loves the rain. And then I'm applying a layer of gesso throughout the page and wiping it off with baby wipe. I'm hoping that the music notes of the music paper um, along with the texture of the hearts will show but I do want some of that peeking through and um, I'm not sure if the picture shows it but in real life it really shows it so I'm just taking my colors and scribbling and you can see the metallics there is that definite shine there so much like I use my ink tense blocks I've just scribbled them on and now I'm activating it with water I tried with a baby wipe and I find it just takes off too much. I don't know, my baby wipes are just too wet or I'm pushing too hard. So I'm just using my fingers to get some interesting color there, adding, subtracting, 
mixing, blending as I go, just till I like the effect. And you can see the colors there and the texture. You could still see the heart. So I'm going to use my gelato since I've been given this. I could use my intense blocks now that I am. Uh, I'm just making a pool of paint. I'm just rubbing the gelatos in my dish and activating it with water to make a pool of it. And then I'm just using a Oh, words escape me. Syringe, not a syringe, and I'm just dropping it. But I realize that I'm just going to have to mix way too much of this. So I go to plan B, which is to just put color in the darkest purple or darkest blue and darkest purple across the top, activate it with my finger and spray it and get that drippage going down. And I'm really liking the effect. Uh, the consistency using the gelatos is different than, than um, when I use my ink tense blocks in the same way. There's somehow it's thicker. So you can see that lovely drippage. And after drying, I am now going to attempt putting a bubble stamp through my bubbles stencil with my navy blue stays on ink. In the end, I don't know if the effect is any different than if I just randomly put stamped with my bubble stamp. So, <clears throat> but I met the stipulation of that one stick so I may take that out of my the mix if anyone knows how to make that work better get that effect I would love to hear about it leave a comment so it's making some lovely texture I'm loving the drips and the little bubbles and everything so now I have these quote dancing in the rain and I'm just stamping it a few times I'm toying with the idea of repeating it several times around on the page. And instead of cutting it, I'm going to rip it. I find that when you used tissue paper or deli paper, <coughs> excuse me, the um, it melds better with the page if you do that. So just kind of playing with the placement. Am I going to put it twice? Am I going to, you know, how am I going to put it? Now I kind of had cut, using one of my jelly prints, a different color for the umbrella. There's actually print across the top of it that you can't see. But I decided that I'm going to paint it. And I decided that I'm going to use the color of her pants, which is also another one of those colors that go well with the palette that I've chosen. So I'm applying white gesso to the umbrella, and I'm painting it with... I think it's just violet liquitex and it's the same color that's in that's in her leggings that she's wearing and I stamped on it so it gave it a little bit of texture and uh, in a few minutes you'll see me I'm also going to paint her scarf that color so that because she's a perfectly coordinated person so this is just an example of how you can alter a magazine picture. You can use the bare bones and basically repaint everything.
So I'm playing with how I want the words to go. And right here, since there's that little umbrella in the word, in the phrase, dancing in the rain, right at the end, I'm deciding to use the um, umbrella border stamp. And for whatever reason, you know, if my page is a little bit warped with all the texture, I just couldn't get quite get a good stamp. If I pressed, I, they would often be empty in the middle or not get a quite clear cohesive stamp. So I'm going back one by one, pretty much just pressing it. And I, and I continue to do that on all four sides. I never got better at it. But it does tie with the umbrella and the umbrella and the quotes. So I'm happy with the choice. So again, with the matte medium, I'm applying it to the back of the girl and umbrella and um, adhering it to the page. I'm very surprised the gelatos seem to be quite stable. They're not reactivating with the gel medium at all. So um, I'm really happy with that. And that will change. I, I'll use them a lot more because they don't reactivate. As you can see, the quote is very, very light. So I'm using my Micron pen, and it's a 08, and I'm just darkening up the quote, the letters, just to make them pop that much more. So just a little bit on camera, mostly off camera, I, um, I've taken my Stabilo All Pencil and tr traced around the girl, and now I'm just activating it with the brush. I, I apologize that that's off camera. There you go. And I decided I better ground her, give her something to walk on, so I just made some land so she doesn't isn't floating and I'm adding some textures and shadows to the umbrella with this to be low all pencil as well I'm just adding some shadows to the girl again you don't have to use the magazine cutout as is so I'm really liking that checking back making sure that I did not miss any and yes, I've done all of the ones for our February 16th Try It Tuesday. And I think I'm done. Uh, nope, I'm back. Here is, I'm using the black gelato and I'm edging the page with black. There's a lot of blue. I was toying, to, toying with the idea of blue, but I went with black because there was black in the girl and I'm quite happy with that. And I'm back again because I forgot I had the little raindrop in the stamp set. And I thought, oh, at first I'm just going to put it around the quote, and then I go crazy. And it's all over the page, and I love it. And by the time I'm done... I've got raindrops on all parts of the page, and I love it. So 
So here is a picture of the finished page. And here I'm showing you the color wheel and I've used analogous colors. And there they are from the teal to the red violet. That's how I chose the scarf color. Some close-ups. You can see the texture and the layers that have been developed. And you can still see some of the music paper there. Be sure to give this challenge a try. And when you do, stop by the Facebook group All Things Mixed Media Creative Katie. Join the creation ship and share.